Richard Waldron is a well-known name in the city of Dover. Waldron Court is a street name for him. The Waldron Towers is a residential senior housing complex. The Waldron Cemetery holds several generations of Waldrons, including Major Richard Waldron. And one of the downtown Dover bridges over the Cochico River displays an historical marker with a map labeling the various locations affected by the 1689 so-called Cochico Massacre, during which Richard Waldron was executed by the Pentecooks. In the late 1600s, Cochico was the place where the Pentecook Abenaki homeland in Dakinaw met the fringes of the English settlers' New Hampshire colonial frontier. On the banks of the Cochico River, the English settlement was known as the Cochico Plantation. This is where Richard Waldron built a fortified garrison house for his family and operated several business enterprises, including a trading post that catered to the needs of the Indians. A small settlement in the 1670s, there were only four other garrison houses in Cochico at this time. Waldron was executed in his home at Cochico in June of 1689, an event that English and later early American colonial historians called the Cochico Massacre. For three centuries, this event has continued to be portrayed by the dominant Eurocentric society as an unprovoked massacre that was perpetrated on the defenseless English colonists by so-called savages, the Pentecook Abenaki warriors. However, the wider community's perception of New Hampshire's indigenous peoples is changing, and there's currently a new openness to hearing a more balanced history of these events. Even as the 400th anniversary of the colonial founding of Dover is celebrated, a newer notion, a decolonized perspective of history, has begun to come to the fore. And this 17th century event is coming to be seen as an understandable act of retribution by a group of formerly peaceful Pentecook people in retaliation for a great harm done to the Pentecooks and their allies by Major Richard Waldron 13 years earlier. 